said it before, I'll repeat it again. A celestial church of Christ is a very, very, very good church that is full of grace. It is a church that is mostly misunderstood, not by people outside, even people in the church. You know, we make a mistake that people are like, no, 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 no. People, it is a church that people inside it do not even understand the church. Um, my experience in the church is that we have so many people who are ignorant of the mind of God. According to the book of Romans 10, he said, I, I, I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God. But their zeal is not according to the knowledge of God. So you can, you have a zeal for God, it might not be according to the knowledge of God. So, my experience is that there are too many people who are suffering from dangerous ignorance. They are in pure darkness. Right from the leaders to, there are lots of them in the leadership of the church who do not know they are left from right. Um... They are some of them who are youths. Uh, people have forgotten what we are called for. You know, I call it the first call. What is your main thing? What's my experience in the church? Is it's a church where if you can understand what God is saying, that is, you if you understand your Bible, you base if you are in the church, if you believe in the word of God, you hold the, you hold your Bible, you believe your Bible. I'm not talking of tradition here. I'm not talking of Elano here. I'm talking of the word of God. Psalm 138 verse 2 tells us that God lifts his name, his word above his name. God lifts his name, lifts his word above his name. So automatically God will lift his word above any tradition. All churches have tradition. Tradition is just to, just, uh, uh, to make things orderly. Tradition is not God. It's not tradition that will take you to heaven. So what I'm saying is that they, I bear them record that they have a zeal for God. He said, but their, their zeal is not according to, the, to knowledge. For example, somebody coming to your church for the first time, you know, say, oh, they are using makeup. Remove the makeup, remove the makeup. Then the same person, you've discouraged him or her, she goes to another church, they welcome her. And you are now saying you want to cleanse the whole world. And you are now shocked that why people are reducing if you go somewhere and they celebrate you, and you go to somewhere and they condemn you, which one will you go the following day? Why? What is happening? Where they are not celebrating you, they think they are fighting for God. Oh, that person, the person who came to your church, you don't understand what that person is going through. Also, why is it wake up? Make up. If most of all the members, they don't use makeup in church, they use it outside. What does makeup have to do with the Holy Spirit? So it's a church that is because they've taken so many things to be above God, so they are struggling. I'll give an example. Papa Oshofa's daughter, Sister Edet. I did a program in Ailara. I invited Sister Edet. She said it clearly. Papa Oshofa, the father of the church, his wife, Sister Margaret, Sister Edet's mother, Sister Edet's mother, who was one of the greatest prophets that Celestia, prophetess that Celestia have produced, that she uses makeup She's one of the people that wrote these hymns that you sing. That when she even died, as she died in her old age, you, she, she had makeup on her face. So why will somebody now come and tell us and say, people now come to church, they want to come and worship God. You are saying, people like that are under a curse. He people disturbing people because when you say, you know, you are something in church, you say, or tie job. Those are the people who are job on God. You are discouraging people from wanting to come and worship God. Because of your own tradition. That is number one. Number two, I can remember I've seen this, it happens a lot. Maybe somebody coming to a church, a lady wearing trousers. From the, hey, no, 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 you can't come, you can't come. What does that have to do with We need the gospel. I think I should take this opportunity and tell anyone in that bondage the essence of this church is found in Matthew 28. Verse 19 to 20. 
Go ye into the world and do what? And win souls. Let people understand this. What am I experiencing in the church? My experience is that the church has forgotten their first call. They don't win souls anymore. You know what we like? On Tuesday, people come to the church. You just say you show up for them. You are hearing the voice of God. But you've not taught them about Jesus. My friend was giving me an example. He said they saw him, they gave him a message. But they never told him about Jesus. So, there's a many people that are celebrating the anointing, they are not celebrating God. But it's, not, it's, not, it's not their fault. They can't celebrate God because they don't have a relationship with God. Remember, you can't, you can't have a gift to. And you might have anointing. It's, to, it's for you to stay in an office. You might not have a relationship with God. After some time, the anointing will run dry. That's what happened to Samson. Samson never had a relationship with God, though. But he had the anointing. You remember that at the end of the day, he missed it. He went after foreign gods. The difference between Samson and David. David had the anointing and David had a relationship with God. David, David was also that seven times a day I do praise God. He had, time, he had time to praise God seven times a day. Three times a day he prayed. Ten times a day, king. David said in his word, Psalm 40 from verse 9. He said he, David was a preacher of the word. David was people who win souls for God. How many leaders do you know win souls now? The evil thing is that people who are frustrated, frustrated that just entered the church. I could remember. I spoke to some people. I said, Why are you? you or people come to a church on Tuesday when they come. You say you have heard the voice. You know, I said, you know, you, I said, you are not even meant to collect money from, from these people. Leave them. If one day, let them donate voluntarily. Somebody said, someone that came to me say, hey, most of these prophets, most of these people giving the message, you know, there's no job. Can you see that that God is not working for them? They are relying, they themselves are relying on the natural. Sen, super, Christianity without the supernatural is a waste of time. Isaiah 8 verse 18 says, I and my children, we are for signs and for wonders. 1 Peter 2 9 tells us clearly. He said, I'm a real priesthood, a peculiar person, brought out of darkness to show forth him, the glory of him that called me. So what I'm trying to say, understand something, sir. Christianity is your gateway to a life of breakthrough. Celestia is, is, is your gay, is Celestia Church of Christ. I'm talking about Celestia, I mean church. I need to tell you the truth. I'm a Celestial. But I'm not a fanatic for Celestial. I'm a fanatic for Jesus. Understand the difference. Many, what am I experience? You ask me my, my experience. Many, too many people in the church know Celestia, but they don't know God. That's a big problem. And I keep on telling them, CCC, Celestia Church of Christ. Yeah. Those people that know Celestia and don't know God, they also CCC, but they are Celestial Church of Confusion. They are confused. Or Celestial Church of Concussion. They will add things to it. Or Celestial Church of Crime. You can never worship in this church. I keep on telling people. In truth and in spirit. And not enjoy God. If many people, many people do not even understand the meaning of truth and spirit. The truth and spirit can be found in the book of John 6 63. The words that I speak to you, or what even by you saw ye, they are spirit and they are life. The word of God is the spirit. The word of God is the sword. The word of God is the power of God. The word of God is God. So when you lack the word among any other after any other thing, it's the beginning of failure. Some people would not want to say, they say, Papa Shafa said, it's good that he said, but whatever he said is, is subject to what God says. What God says is the most important thing. We need to let people understand this. We need to let people understand that we are a church. We are not a cult. It's a church whereby people try to confuse you if you don't know what you are doing. It was not created like that. But I'm just telling you the end thing now. 
But you meet people like us who will tell you the truth. I could remember I was speaking to somebody and someone told me, I asked him a question, why do you wear shoes? Why do you have to remove my shoes? When I'm wearing sutana, but what God said is that where that place you are going is a holy ground. The man told me that the sutana house I'm wearing is an holy sutana. I said, but my body too is holy. He said, with this sutana, if you ask anything in the name of Jesus, but I told him, is that what, that's what you believe? What I believe is found in Matthew 16:17. These signs shall follow those that believe in my name, not that believe in sutana. You should let us guess people. Let's listen, let's remove tradition. Let's show people the truth. I'm not telling you not to wear sutana. I'm not telling you not to. But don't come and say what is wrong. You ask me a question about the church. I, I hope this will go live. Let me give you an example. During the time of fasting, you tell people, um, Hallelujah. The, during after the fasting use hallelujah if anybody mistakenly says hallelujah during the time of fasting people call him as if it's not over sir hallelujah and hallelujah means the same thing can you see one of the deceit it's a sweet church if you can ask questions it will become it will become frustrating to anybody if you just follow these leaders so we don't have peace so we need to understand the youth especially we need to let you understand it is a sweet church sir it's a church i can tell you I, I am a product of grace i enjoy grace in this church i can tell you straight away probably i'm one of i'm, I'm one of the i'm one of the people that enjoy grace in this church so i and i'm telling you one of these i'm enjoying the grace is because of what i believe because i decided not to follow one leader blindly. A leader that I will follow must be going to where I'm going. You can't take me past what you know. I want you to understand that. I mean, Celestial Church, I sit anywhere. Bishop Odeko is my mentor, my serious mentor. I appreciate him to the core. I am where I am today because I got freedom. How you to be one of those people? Let me tell you the truth. Yes, but maybe 1991 eh, that somebody said share book. What is share book? That somebody will do share book for you to be rich. You will soon be a native doctor. It, you, it, it is a covenant between you and God. It's not a share book. Anybody that will do something for you, is it working for you? Your Bible says, any bad man that shall fail in your sacrifice, is that is Christianity. God said, God be God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let me, let me use the Bible. I'm not just talking. Isaiah 51. Look up to Sarah and Abraham that did what? That boy. Look up to them. The way I made Abraham is a blessed, a, a blessed man when there was famine. Genesis 12, verse 10, there was famine in the land. Because he was connected to God, he made it. He was very blessed. Go ahead and check. Genesis 13 verse 2 he was already blessed there was farming in Genesis 26 during the time of Isaac he was blessed I'm sure you know, you know the story of Jacob and Laban God's backing on Jacob made Jacob to be great it's not the, your 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 blessing is not tied to the economy your blessing is tied to God no 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 no, no. Genesis 12 verse 10 check it there was farming in the land Abraham was blessed. Genesis 26, there was family land. Isaac was blessed. During the time of Jacob, um, Genesis, I think 31, 31, 30, 31, you know the story of Je um, Laban and Isaac, and Laban and Jacob. Go check. Jacob was blessed. Now, Joseph, Genesis 47, verse 15 and verse 27. Bible said they were going to Joseph, they were broke, they, were, they did not have money. Joseph had what I know. I want people to understand that is the meaning of Christianity. No, 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 no,
You are meant to be a celestial by signs and wonders following you. Do you understand the of celestial? It means God's as it is in the earth, what happens on heaven? God is the one controlling your destiny, your 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 life, your being is, is divine. That's enough celestial. How many people do you know that are changing level? What would you understand what makes us change level? I give an example. One of the reasons I gave you the chance to do this is because I know. I am fulfilling a path of what God wants me to do. I give it. First Corinthians 15, verse 58 tells us clearly God will not forget your neighbor. That's so always remember. That everything you are doing for the kingdom of God, there is a blessing. That God will not forget that all your labor. I need to just open it for you. I need to, you need to see it. First Corinthians 15, verse 58. Listen to this. He said, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be firm, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, always being superior. Excelling, doing more than enough in the service of the Lord, knowing and being continually aware that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. What is labor in the Lord? Labor is the Lord in the Lord is showing people God, not just not praying for people. Many people are praying for you because they want to hold you captive. Jesus Christ was with his disciples, I think about three and a half years. How many times did he pray for them? Why were they empowered? But what do you do in most churches? Is there, what do they do? Pray for me. They pray for you. They pray for you. That is where your destiny. You will know the truth. The truth will set you free. How many? How many? Think about it. Someone like me. Ah. I have to come out of every chapel. Anybody, if you if you love your son, if he comes home with a homework. Will you, will you just do it for him? If you love him, what will you do? You will teach him. Same thing. So think for yourself. You have something, yes, yes, one problem, but just go and bring this candle. He prays for you. Another time, he prays for you. Another time, what is it telling you? To? You don't know. He's destroying your confidence. He's making you indirectly believe that you are. He, he was going to take your confidence away from you. What happens the next time you want to do? You go and call him. There is a way people will take away your confidence and you will not know. You just need that your confidence is in it. Meanwhile, Jeremiah 17 verse 5, God says, God is the man that puts his trust in any man. A, a good teacher, a leader, a, a leader will teach you, will show you the way. Are you a A leader will not tell you that, so you can't do it. I can do it. That's a stupid leader. It is a sweet church. It is a sweet church. If, we, if, we, if your faith will not be in tradition, your faith must be in the word of God. What about that Christian church? It is a church that prayer answers. If you can, if you understand, if you understand. Ah, uh, my brother, before you came here, you, I just entered this so another realm. Monday, 17th. I told God, he said, God is a church member. You decree something, you say it. It's a church member. If you are operating it in it, you will be a sign. I'm being honest to you. It's a church that God loves. But it's a, it's a church that Satan is fighting also. My house is fighting us. Maybe ignorance. He also revealed three things that are affecting Celestial Church and gave solutions. Go and check these three things. It's what's affecting many people in the church. Go and check. Wrong teaching. Demonic power. And tradition is the greatest problem the church has. Why do we have many pastors today? They said the Holy Spirit said, Holy Spirit. Ah, is it? Holy Spirit is not the author of conviction. 
So how can you come and tell me there's this you have more than four five pastors? But Holy Spirit is not the author of confusion. But who who did they tell us chose pastor? Is it not the Holy Spirit? Can you see what I'm saying? Will you now rely to put your own destiny in such a in such a person? No, just think about it, sir. Confusion what? They said Holy Spirit. I think God is telling us something, sir. Everybody hear this. Go and learn about God. Go and learn about God. Don't let anybody see me. You, when you learn about God, you will get freedom. If you don't know about God, people will tell. It's not a matter of only saying that church. It's all over. People are looking for Muguns. People are looking for 419. Pastors are looking for 419. So they are looking for people to play, their, play, play with their mind. So we, what, what is the answer? The answer is, Go for the truth. Get to the lesser. I've got to every my life that whatever God cannot do, it remain undone. There's no, there's no man on earth that cannot after that. No one. No one man. I know so many people that are in bondage. So why why is it a word of my sweat? One of the things it, it baffles me because when you see that it's a church that's I we have people in the church that are enjoying God, that their life is changing too many people. Somebody was sitting telling me on Sunday. He had my preaching. Um, and that he started the business with 40,000. Joseph. He started, I think about two months ago, the business has grown to 700,000. He started with 40,000. In fact, part-time job again. So all I'm trying to say is that um, we, we need to remove the veil on people's eyes. Use this your medium. Let people know the truth. See people, you know, who they, you, you know, one, one, one person that has not even eaten, you know, someone who has not even eaten, and you put your destiny under him, he will start deceiving you. Ashibana, who is also a popular property developer, gave testimony of God's grace. In, in a particular area where things are very hard, I cannot remember, I think sometime maybe on the 10th or the 9th, thereabouts, I can't remember the date. My way they can't. I can't remember. I have to be honest. I can't remember. But, but this December, and I was asking something from God, and I told God that, you know what? Let the best thing that has ever happened to me let it happen for the end of the year. And while I was telling God, I just saw the nudge in me that decreed it. I said, Lord, before the 18th, sir, the thing happened on the seventeenth. Have I enjoyed grace? I'm sure you'd have had. I don't know if I told you this story, I'm gonna tell you again. I was sold a bank, one billion three forty nine. Do you know what it means to so owe a bank? A bank comes back, back to you, a bank begins to pay. Let me tell you one more. Listen to this. In an area in America, Atlanta to be precise, I had an apartment in this particular apartment that had twenty four flats. Four of them got fire. By the time the insurance were going to pay me, remember it got fire. I was worried, I was sad, so many things. The insurance paid me. The money they gave to me for four flats was more than what I used to buy the whole 24. Now, hold on. Let me explain this to you very well. Later I saw the many 20s that are standing. The difference in what the insurance paid me and what I saw the 20 flats. It's not up to 10%. Do you know what that means? So, the house that caught fire brought blessing. Can I repeat it again? Or do you understand? Four. Bond. Israel has given money. You know, the money they gave me was more than what I used to buy. The whole 24. Now, what was going to say the 20? The 20. The many 20. The difference in the money that I got and what I you just paid me was less than 10 percent difference there is a way God is involved in our life we need to let people know when problem comes when you are a Christian go to God he is the master converter I've been telling people God converts problem to joy go and ask Abraham he had no child 
Go and ask Peter. He was fishing all night. Go and ask them in the wedding of um, Cana. Go and ask Mordecai. He will tell you. Go and ask Josephat. He will tell you. Go and ask David. He will tell you. Go and ask Anna. He will tell you. God is a master converter. When problem comes, believe it is. I want people to understand this. Is your scaff scaffolding to the next level where you're Christian? But if you don't understand when problem comes, you think that is the end of the world. In fact, let them let people read, let people read it. I, Isaiah 43. Let me go up verse 17 to about 23. Isaiah 19. So I sorry, Isaiah 43. So Isaiah 41. From verse 17 to about 23. Then Isaiah 43 from 19. Isaiah 43 from 19. When I was telling you that I would do a new thing, go and read it. You understand that at times when God wants to do a new thing, it might come in form of a problem, sir. You know, I want you to understand the ways of God are mysterious. We sing it in Serena. Not alone, but I should not say, or no, any concomo, our my dinning. So, when you know, there's an Anglican church that says, Mashi down to a ledger, she go back early, and battle of Bombino, you know, a chicken, own do see you. Are you now? So, those are some of the things I want people to understand because when problem comes, people don't enter scripture, they just get that. Nah, at times, problem will grow your faith. It is probably that grows our faith. If I would never hold, if I was never in the bank, I would not know God can, can, can turn uh, a debtor into a creditor. I can remember a particular period I was in London. You're asking me, Grace. I applied for a two story number. Uh, let me give you the address. So it's standing number 8 BT Road. 8 BT Road. And N16, Stoke Newington. I wanted to do a two story building. I applied for a two story. Council wanted to ride to the road three. That is in London. That was 1999. Yeah, 2002. 113 Albion Drive. First Commission. It's named after my name. First Commission. It's still there. 113 Albion Drive. Council ordered to write four story. They wrote five. Because of that mistake, we made a lot of money. So that's grace. What is grace? You know what that grace is? The, the hand of God in your life. It means God in the race. That this place you, you can't compete with the God. God is in his race. And when God is not in the race, it can lead to disgrace. So grace is when God is with this man. When grace is when God is confirming Isaiah 45. From verse 2. He said to Cyrus, to Femi, I have to use my name, that I'm holding your right hand. I will go before you. I will remove the loins of kings for your sake. To open before you double doors, to clear the devils away, and I will give you riches in secret places, treasures in the darkness. So that is grace. So grace really to me is you know it's what, what you are you you know what you are achieving. You know I'm sorry, permit me to use not achieving. What you are the grace you are enjoying is not your power doing it. Uh, like I tell people, as a, a, a Christian, we don't achieve. We are not achievers. We are people that are enjoying grace. Permit me to use the English. The English, we are enjoying grace. I call it engracement rather than achievement. You know, when you are enjoying the grace of God, that is not your power. You do you know? I'll give you an example. Ah, you asked me for grace on the no November fifteenth in America. I think about four days, three days before we close, or I think about five days, they just realized that there is a problem with the title. They were, the house was going to be knocked down. And the people buying it said they were not buying again. I accepted that they were not buying. Some people were just telling me that, don't worry. People got to have something better for you. But I was going to be down because it, it is true. They, they went to do the search and they realized that they were going to knock it down. So that. Um, sales was like stalled and I needed money. You know what happened? I just don't know what happened. Out of boldness, I just said, Give them their money back, their deposit. I'm not, I'm, I don't want to deal with them anymore. My faith did not believe they would close. 
Not, I did not pray. So don't let me lie. Don't let me tell you to my feet. But all my face said is that what was just them that it will turn around and work in your favor. Maybe God doesn't want me to sell it. You see, there's a way. I will never blame God on anything. I will see it in another way. Because your mindset is the law. I say, maybe God doesn't want me to sell it. Maybe God wants me to go and do something in America. Cut this story short. This people started coming back after two or three years. Please, we'll buy it. I said, but I said, do you know they're going to look at that? They said, okay, want to buy like that. Sir, I was thinking, is this the truth or true? On the 15th, they closed. That is grace. Grace is on the 28th of April. When you needed money, 7 million, and you found money in your bank account, that is grace. What is grace? I told you already, I said, God is the race. So you know that there is a hand working for you, an invisible hand working for you. The same man that was working for David and he could not put Goliath down. He said, It's grace. How can Goliath, Goliath not give it down if there was not an invisible hand? I really need to understand this thing. Remember, Josh, 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 um, remember Joshua. And that con that city is AI. They had already destroyed nations that were more powerful than AI. Then it was the turn of AI, which they know it was a very small country. They were ready to go and destroy AI. What happened to them? They were defeated. What happened? God was not in the race. So what brings about the difference is when God is in the race. But there is one way you can get God in your race. Let me tell you now. It's when you decide to have to become a partner with God. It is when you begin to do things that turns God on. Number one thing in God's mind, especially as a celestial, that all those souls that are in the church and that are drowning and are groaning under a heavy weight, God wants us to do something. People are drowning. People are groaning under a heavy weight. Steady told me that our father said the 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 the, the, the what they told, what God gave to me so is so is 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 not, was so small, but so many people have brought so many traditions. They put it upon themselves and they are, they are groaning under that weight. We need to open people's eyes. So. Those are, so those are the things we can do that we decide that we want, we want to come, become a partner with God. Many people are not partners with God. They are partners with their pocket. They are thinking of their pocket. I can't, you can't, listen, if you are doing God's work, you know God's word is forever settled. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Every other thing will be added. Or, ah, it's written clearly. And before they said, I know, he said, he said, I know, he said, many of this is you are looking for. Your father knows that you, uh, you make, you need them. He said, for well, seek ye first the kingdom of God. He said, everything. I, I, I won't let you, and I'm, a, I'm an example. Uh, things are added to me daily. I was telling some people, I said, you know, I've never struggled. I've had faced challenges so many. Everything worked in my favor. Only because of God. Let's understand this thing. I told some people today, do you know if God was not real, I would have drowned. I would have been grounded if God was not real. I am a proof that God is real. In differentiating the difference between faith and fear, Evangelist Toshibana pointed that some of those people are not taking the bold step with the wisdom they possessed. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 24 tells us clearly Jesus, the power of God and the wisdom of God. Let me explain this to you very, very well. People, people are confused now. Jesus, the power of God. You pray, you fast, you do night vigil, you study your Bible. That is the power of God. What of wisdom of God? Somebody they, they said he's going to become a medical doctor, sir. 
He fast, he fast, then he pray, he's doing church, he's going to church, he's, he's sleeping, he's doing everything, sorry, he's going to church, he's sleeping in the church, he's fasting, doing everything, but he doesn't go to university, or he doesn't go to the uh, teaching school. Can he become a medical doctor? The best he will become is an herbalist doctor. So he's still a doctor, native doctor. Can you see where, can you see the difference between wisdom? So you need both. No matter how anointed you are, you can't get 50 over 50. In the power of God, so you can just maybe if you have passed back, maybe 26. But you have 26 over 100 is failure. Wisdom of God and the power of God. God says you'll be on top. Yes. What what does wisdom tell you? Go and get working. Job 20, 22, verse 29. See a man that is diligent in his work, he will start. That is that is that is that is wisdom. Many people are not they want to be diligent, but they want to make it. Sir, I wake up I, in the night, I study. I wake up in the night, I do research. This is soon just happen. What is the wisdom of God? Power of God. A brick there, sir. And 5,000 per day. Somebody is paying you. That person is not a Christian. And you are paying your father in the name of Jesus. Take him to a higher level. Take him to a higher level. But you still want to be waiting on 5,000 per day. Wisdom will tell you that you need to go and become a, an employer of labor. You start by getting a fence of 10,000. You get a bigger fence, 20,000. A bigger fence of 40,000. That 40,000 job, maybe you did it in 10 days. Normally, 5,000. Sorry. The job you got for 40,000. Sorry. You did it maybe 3 days. Normally, for your 3 days, you would have paid you 15,000. Now you got a bigger job because you took a bold step. You're earning higher. Over about 13,000. Per day. Now, many you ask them, many of them they cannot take a bold step, and they have forgotten that what is the name of faith? Opposite of fear is faith. They are scared, so they only talk with their mouth. They cannot take a bold step. What makes you take a bold step? That you are you are you are confident. Is it that some trying to say faith is key? If you are running after a share, you don't have faith. You can't take a bold step. You are looking for God to help you. But when you are talking of faith, you know God is with you. Am I saying something? So, there's a part. Let me give you an example. Ezra, till life would end, depending on the way you do your church, will determine who you attract. Look at Genesis. Can you see the way his church is striving? See the way his church is moving forward? Because of the way he's handling the church. Many of our churches are our service are born, you know. So those are there's areas we need to change. I will hope the leaders will hear this. The most important thing in this service is the word of God. But in the word of God, we cap it for the five minutes. But we do not cap the time we spend on announcements. So what I'm trying to say, please, we use. Let's go on together and, and go for the truth. Let us believe in the word of God. Nothing else. Nothing else. Have seen that most leaders are storytellers. They don't have any evidence. They, 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 they don't have uh, 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 testimonies. What makes is it when God is when God says I will bless you, He will, he will bless you first. I don't read the Bible. You will enjoy the works of your labor. So if you are propagating the work of Jesus, are you know? Enjoy your world. There's something is wrong. I mean, God can't lie now. It's not God is lying or you are lying. But God cannot lie. He also explained how he manages his business and spiritual life. I put God to represent my business. You see, I believe... You see, if you go and read Job... I think it's Job 29. Job was the richest man in the East. Yes. If you go and read from verse 4 downward, it tells us clearly. He was the richest one in this east, and he said he became rich by because he understood the secrets of God. He was the richest man. Abraham was very, very rich in his time. So how can you not do business and you don't get God involved? 
They are principles. The principles of God. You, are, you, you see many people in the name of Christianity doesn't tell you not to use your mind. If I Bible tells us that do, be trans, do not be conformed, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Christianity is not telling you not to think now. I am even going to advise you. If you look at Romans 15 verse 4. Romans 4 verse 23. And 1 Corinthians 10 verse 11. He said all these things in the Bible are written for our sake. Moses would have killed himself. He listened to Jethro. Delegation of power. Paul moved with Timothy was moving with Paul, we can see the difference. Moses and Joshua. Elijah and Elijah. Jesus and the twelve disciples. Who are you looking up to? And Bible has told you, told us, you move with the wise, shall be wise. Companions of food shall be destroyed. So who are you looking up to? I don't say to look up to anybody as your God. Do you know where you are going? Can you see a brighter tomorrow? So, he said in my business, one of Ireland, I, I have the, he said there are some principles that works. In, in real life, there's, even in life, they talk about association. The people you move with will tell me what you will see. What you see determines what you think. What you think determines what you will say. What you say determines what you will become. So it has to do with that is it's in the Bible, but it's also in real life. I remember when I got to this country. I remember that I had a friend who was doing very well into properties. I went straight to him. If out of emotions, if I stayed with other friends that were poor, I would have been poor. I decided to go for a friend who knew something that I did not know. So I did not decide to stay with uh, I have to be ready. I don't feel about the first two, three weeks. I was moving with just my friends. I didn't get anything until I decided, until I think. I have to think, come on. This way I'm, not, I'm moving with. They, they don't achieve what I want to achieve. Am I waiting for them? I aimed higher. It's in the Bible. Pete, Paul didn't see Jesus, but he wrote the majority of the New Testament. What am I trying to say? What you see, what you are thinking has a very great effect on your tomorrow.